Hi everyone, welcome back to Channeling Luxury. So many of you ask, what do you need to get to get a quota bag? Um, the truth is it depends on your essay and it depends on the location that you're shopping in. Um, so this is my little mini unboxing from the Paris uh, store. So they had kind of limited stock and I'll show you what I was offered and then also what I ended up getting. But I want you to see that um, other than a couple of other little small things, this is what all I purchased to get my quota bag. And um, so it just, again, depends on part is luck. Um, I did not have an, uh, um, a leather appointment. It was just working with my essay. Part is luck, part's the relationship that you build with your essay. And part of it, of course, is um, the store that you're at and what they happen to have at the time. So I know many of you say, the store said they have none. That actually really does happen. Um, I have a pretty good relationship with a couple of folks out here that have confirmed that does occur. Um, but generally speaking, you can say, something like can you let me know in the next couple of days if you get one so i can come back especially if you made a spend in non-quota bags because as you may or may not know your sales associate does not make commission on selling you a quota bag so let me show you what i picked up and i'm going to start here with some Oran sandals um, those of you that shop in the us like i do know that these are almost impossible to get in a small size so i see them for sale all the time on forums um, for a lot more money than we have to pay retail. So these are both a 35 and one is a little fur guy <laughs> and one is the traditional leather black. They had orange, but it was a little, I'm sorry, uh, gold. Looks like orange to me, but it was a little bit too big. Um, but I was able to get these. So this is something and my, my new, I guess, 2022 and forward rule at Hermes is not to buy anything that I wouldn't have purchased otherwise. If I wouldn't buy this, without trying to get this, then there's no point in doing it, right? Then you may as well just buy from a reseller, save yourself some money and help somebody else make something. So um, so that's my my theory of, of Hermes. I also got this, um, I think it's really pretty, blue and yellow scarf. And it doesn't go with what I'm wearing today, but it's just lightweight enough for, for the US. Um, not anywhere, not to go anywhere where it's cold. Um, Picatin. I know this can even be hard, right? Sometimes we have to say, do you have a Picatin? Can I come back? Or they'll say, I have a, a great bag for you. And it turns out to be a Picatin. It shouldn't be that hard to get a Picatin, but it wasn't. I just asked at the end, by the way, do you happen to have a Picatin? I think my daughter would like it. They came out. She said colors. I said neutral. She came out with this. So um, this is an 18. The size I think most of us like, the 18 or one size bigger. Palladium hardware, um, super cute bag. These are great leather. And um, I don't have my black anymore. I wish I had kept it, but uh, I'll certainly be hanging on to this and um, any other Picatins that I get. So I got this one. Um, and then the only other real purchase that I made is this guy. And um, as you may know, ready to wear helps, jewelry helps your uh, spend, right? Because there are ratios and it depends on what store and the sales associate and what's in stock. But this is a, a, a jacket that can also become a vest. So you just unsnap this portion of it in the back and um, it's a vest with the croc on the top. So it has crocodile detail, um, little croc snaps here, the large buttons with croc detail in the center here, which I think are super pretty. And it's a short trench. So it falls on me. I'm gonna keep it on the hanger, but it falls on me right here and has a nice little waist belt. And then what I love, of course, are the big pockets. So you can just get them unsewn if you want. Um, it has a side pocket as well. And yeah, so I got this one. And then the quota bag that I was offered, I had two options, three options actually. A Birkin 30 touch with um, matte croc um, for the top, black and black matte. Or a Birkin 30 touch with black shiny alligator. So Togo and shiny alligator. Um, I like the matte. I thought it was really classy, but it's the size on me. Plus I have a black Birkin. So I passed on that and I got this guy. Um, the color on this is called um, French blue. It is supposed to be the color of the French flag. It's not, it's, it's pretty bright. Okay. It's, it's a brighter color. It's not crazy neon blue, but it's also not the dark blue that many of us have been seeking. I've been looking for an ostrich in a really dark blue for a long time. So it's neither of those, it's somewhere in between. But what I love about it, you see the little twillies got added to this. But what I love about it is the lizard detailing on the top. So matching lizard detail, um, and then some little detailing on the back. The inside, the hardware, so the palladium hardware on the outside, 
doesn't match the hardware on the inside. The hardware on the inside is gold, and it's also a uh, kind of brighter blue on the inside. So I'll just put um, a bag insert into this guy. And for those of you that know, we do mod shots, right? So we all pretty much know by now what a 25 looks like, but I'm 5'4", and this is what it looks like on my arm. So the, the downside of this is you can't really get it past here. The 30 was nice because I could get it past the crook, but the 25 is a nice little small classy bag. Um, I had hesitated at first because I was trying to figure out what, how I would basically wear this. If I'm wearing red, it's difficult, but black is not difficult. It's a more basic, but I have enough black. So I went with the blue. Um, so I love this little guy. I think it's super pretty. Um, it's actually one of, if you, many of you have seen my videos of Hermes bags, and say, why did you buy that? You didn't look excited in your video. I don't know, I guess you can read things on my face. For those of you that think the same about this, it's not true, I love, really love this guy. Um, I also like that it's the slouchy, which the name is escaping me at the moment, but the slouchier um, leather on the side and very supple. So other than the front, which I leave open anyway, it's really easy to get in and out of, and I do prefer for myself a Birkin over a Kelly. Um, yeah, so this was my offered quota. Well, a couple of different offers and I chose this one. And uh, so now the spending resets, right? Now we have to start all over. When they give us a quota, we start all over with our spend. So, um, but really happy to get this one, bring them home. And um, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, I'm happy to help. And I know many of you have actually made contact with my, um, with my uh, sales associate as well. So I'm glad that you've been able to get help at the stores out here. And let me know if you have any questions and please like and subscribe and tell your friends about this video if it will help them. Thank you so much.